Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed it. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Witam, witam wszystkich serdecznie. Jak widzicie, obiecany Gazlinger. No to zaczynamy. Pierwsza, pierwsza misja. Wiemy, że zaczynamy. Rozpoczynamy grę. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. Us. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. Aha, but czyli... before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Fajnie, fajnie. A czy się jak to widać wszystko zajebiście, dobra. No myślę, że będzie fajny gameplay z tego tutaj zrobiony. Dobra. Oczywiście na maksa wszystko ustawione. Oczywiście o w dowolnym. By w dowolnym momencie wysiedzi cel misji, dobra. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. I'm a kucanie. Fine, fine. Tu kogoś mamy. Who's that? Is he with us? Do zabijania przeciwników na wyższy poziom. O proszę, model tutaj upgrade'u. Bardzo dobrze. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. Cały dom ostro, dobra. Tutaj coś mamy, że tak kopci? Cool. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every Whoa. gun hand in Lincoln County. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, it's 
No, no nie mają takiego celu, nie? Tak jest! Aduj, aduj. Jeszcze ktoś tu? U. Dobra, idziemy dalej, ok. I mamy tak. E, tryb desperado, łowca i traper. Walczący z bliska. Na dużych dystansach. Dwa rewolwery. Hmm. A proszę. A co my mamy tutaj? Bo wiecie, zawsze trzeba patrzeć. Spowiem czas, nie gdy z broni długiej albo broni jednoręcznej. Idealnie wycelować, to jest dobre. Na krótki dystans. Na razie idę w to tutaj. Na boi do, kara do karabinu. Ruchów prawa. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Okay. I'll do that. Ale też mamy jakieś punkty? No proszę. Dobrze wiedzieć. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do Indeed, Donna. But where was I? Oh, yeah. Wadu, <laughs> wadu. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Oh, bardzo mocny ten kind of jest, ale. Trochę amunicji. Między oczy zakładam. 
Ben, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back, back door! door. We got we'll cover you! Try aiming, you idiot! Truth be told, the things window. weren't much better behind the house. Watch your place! Wow, ale fajnie zrobione. Na górze jest tego. Cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Zbieraj co się da. Coś coś trzeba odwiedzić. A nie, widzę, tutaj jest yy, kampania zrobiona na zasadzie opowiadania. And like that, I was inside. None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. And upstairs I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. Spotkaj się z Billy Kidem. Dobra, patrzymy. Dwadzieścia jeden lat i dwadzieścia jeden trupów, proszę. Billy looked at me and said, "About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window." Put away. So you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Oh, that's a bomb. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Those poor sons of bitches are done! Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Rapper walczący z bliska. Wybieg koncentracji na krótki dystans. Na razie się trzymamy na odległość, prawda? Rabinowy. Nie możesz się sprzedać. Tak, Jack, here. Co ty mówisz, old man? Jack, jest Mr. Josh. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas. Now, where was I? Whoa. You were heading for the barn. Jimmy, Jimmy, Dolly. Gonna cut you a new one. 
Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. <coughs> and that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. This is the Nick. Wracamy do części pierwszej. Na prost. Zręczny inaczej, proszę bardzo. Co teraz? You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Nie inaczej, prawda? Za pomocą myszki. Dobra, mamy, 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 mamy. Naciśnij, aby wyciągnąć ją, w już za pomocą i naciśnij, by strzelić. Killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy, that ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. I stepped inside and. Bam! Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. No proszę, czyli pierwsza misja za nami. Ulubiona broń karabin między oczy. Honorowo zabity. Idziemy dalej. O nie, 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 zostawimy normalną. Żeby nie było. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to. The bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. Czyżby teraz wielka ucieczka? Garść gorącego obiu, proszę. Posiedzieli do wiosny. Enter. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. 
Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. Hello. Oh, Jenky. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. Oh, it's a bunch of shit. Olingera, Boba. Szczelba. Dobra. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? Oh, Hell yeah. That scattered gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It could blow a man clear off his feet. Whoa. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. The kids escaped raised a huge ruckus. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. Anybody see him? Jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could. Some of that wood was slippery as hell. I'm not giving me a chance to. Come to me. That is a good move. Now we're going to go to the next town. Certainly, I was the future. Jimmy Jim. Nie tutaj. Nie tędy. So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. Mamy się przebić przez miasto. Spoko. See, me and the kids shared a certain similarity in build and coloring. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean-ass shotgun. Nie ma znajdźki? So much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. We prize them too high, if you ask me. Uh, trochę przesadziliśmy, dobra. No ale. Let's do this. Ej, 
Jeszcze kurka się tu nap nap napatoszyła. Okrąg znajduje się w pobliżu. Dobrze wiedzieć. Hmm, no to jest. Wspinamy się do góry. Momencik was są trochę wody. Dobra, no i lecimy dalej. Ale mi się zajebiście gra w tą część. No, w tamtym też mi się grało, nie powiem, ale... But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. No, how about that? How about that? I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean-ass shotgun. Anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, and I had no choice but to play them. I'm a secret. Finally, I found what I was looking for. The stables on the edge of town. I guess Billy saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said. I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself.
I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. Pat Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. So, the second mission is with us. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.